Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So today's look is something that I learned when I went to Encore a few days ago. I was in Utah for five days and Sephora paid for me to go. They invested in me to elevate my expertise and I learned so much and this is one look I learned. A gilded look is really hot on the runway now, especially for NARS. They did a fall 2014 gilded look and she showed us a look for every day and then and uh, showed us something a little more dramatic. So obviously this one's for every day. And the key to a gilded look is balance. So you don't want it to be gilded throughout all the features of the face. And we really want it to be suitable for an everyday look. So the whole goal is to bring it from the runway to the real way, which I also learned in Encore. <laughs> What's really cool about this look is you can make it your own. I What I did isn't exactly verbatim what she taught us, but the tips and techniques she taught me, I did apply to the look. So today I chose to accentuate mostly to gild my cheekbones because I really wanted a high cheekbone. The key, like I said, is balance. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna gild my cheekbones and have such drama right here, it's such brightening and reflectiveness, then we're gonna want all the other features to be complementary to this. So we don't want it to take away from that. Otherwise you're just, your focus is just boom, 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 looking at everything instead of one thing to focus on and everything else be a compliment to it. I chose to be very uh, strategic in my placement with a soft eye and a soft lip. It's all about preference. There's really no right or wrong. You can gild the lips, you can gild the cheekbones like I did, you can gild the lids, the brows, the inner corner. You can really gild anything. Also, gilding is pretty much uh, like melted metal, like an effective melted metal. So you don't want it to be sparkly, you don't want it to be glittery, you don't want it to be sheer, you want it to be opaque, you want it to be very noticeable. Like when light hits this, you're seeing it. That's basically what this is. So this is an everyday gilded look. I hope you like it. Of course, you can always make it more dramatic if you want to for nighttime by just smoking up the eyes a little bit, maybe adding a wing liner, that's totally obviously that's awesome but this is just for a quick everyday look so i hope you like it if you want to learn how to do it all you gotta do is keep watching bye all right so the first thing we want to do is start off with complexion and since we're doing a gilded look we really want to choose what part of the face we want to stand out the most i'm going to choose to have a really light eye and do a lot of gilding on my cheekbone because i have a high cheekbone so that's what i want to pronounce even more so just choose the feature on your face that you'd want to pronounce more you want your complexion to be pretty soft and not overbearing we want it to complement the makeup so i'm going to use Laura Mercier's uh, Radiance Primer. It's just like a pearlescent primer that helps your makeup stay on, but it gives like an iridescent glow under your makeup. I really just want this to be a really soft, milky satin finish, so my skin still shows through. It looks a little more natural. And so I can get that satin smooth finish. It's a long wear. I'm gonna use Paracombs No Foundation Foundation Serum. And I'm just gonna apply with my fingers. I'm just gonna pour a little bit into my palm, warm it up, and press it into my skin. You always wanna start with nice thin layers, so that way you can control your coverage better, and it'll make for a longer lasting application. And if you wish for added concealment, this is where you would conceal. I'm gonna use Becca's Ultimate Coverage Foundation in Nude, and I'm just gonna dot a little bit where I want a little more coverage and I'm just going to use my fingers to just kind of warm that into the skin. Next we're going to take a concealer and do some brightening in the inner corners. I'm going to use NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Custard and we want this to be a nice thin layer as well. I'm putting the product on the back of my hand so I can use my fingers. I'm just going to take a little bit at a time and what we want to do is brighten the inner parts of the face. So I'm coming down here on the sides of my nose and then I'm going to bring it up to the corner of my eye. Pass it towards the hairline going up and that way we can brighten the center of our face. 
in a nice sheer layer because we don't want this to be heavy. So usually you would set your makeup at this point, but what I'm gonna do is take my hands and warm them up. And I'm just gonna press all those complexion products onto the face just to kind of get off any extra excess that's making our complexion look heavy. I'm just gonna let that cook, if you will, and we'll, we're gonna move on to eyes. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is eyes, and I basically want my eyes to complement my main focus, which is right here. This is where I choose to be the most gilded. I want it to be very shiny and shimmery, which it is. I want the eyes to not be as gilded, but still have like a metallic sheen to it. To do that, the first thing you want to do is prime your lid. I'm using the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Primer in Soft Linen. And we're going to put that all over the lid and a little bit underneath. So if you want something to look gilded without wetting it, what you want to do is put a cream on first. So I am going to use the Makeup Forever HD Blush in number 220. It's a really pinkish, blushy color. I'm going to use my finger, and in nice thin layers, I'm going to apply that all over the lid up to the brow. I'm sorry, up to the crease, not to the brow. Don't put it to your brow. Just like that. And then the eyeshadows that I'm using are from the Too Faced Natural Eye. And I'm going to be using Nude Beach right here and Honey Pot right here. So the first thing we want to do is take a brush that's not too big but fluffy like this one. I'm going to go into the Nude Beach. And to make this look a little more gilded, what you want to do is start in the center and wiggle it back and forth pretty fast. And it kind of buffs it out into a more metallic finish. And we want to keep this on the lid. Don't go any higher than the lid. And then flick your brush off and take a little bit of something golden with a metallic key. I'm using Honey Pot in the same palette. And we're going to put it right in the center. And then to reinforce our crease color, I'm going to use the blush we're going to use on our cheeks. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Sculpting Trio in Sweet. It looks like this. We're going to take the blush with a nice crease brush. I'm using number 19, Tapered Crease. And we're going to reinforce the color of our crease. And I'm also going to put a little on my lower lash line. And then to deepen our crease, like we did on this side, I'm gonna take the bronzer that's in here with a angled crease brush. This one's by B. Dallium Tools, number 769. I'm gonna put that point right into my crease and we're just gonna reinforce the crease, create a little depth. The next thing we want to do is blend the brow out. So I'm just going to take the matte creamy color that's in the Natural Eye palette. It's called Heaven. It's just a matte creamy white. And we're going to take a little bit of that and we're going to put it right in our brow. Next, we're going to tight line with a black liner. I'm going to use Sephora Brands Retractable Waterproof Liner in matte black. And you want to use a really black mascara. I'm going to use a combination of two. The first one is Smoky Extravagant by Makeup Forever. Because it's curling. It has a really nice big brush for some volume. The next mascara I'm going to use is Dior Show Blackout. And we're just going to put a little bit of that over the extravagant. And then I'm going to do brow, and I'm using Dior's Universal Brow Styler. You just twist it up a little, and it has a spoolie on the other end. We want our brow to be really soft for this look, so I'm just going to do nice little wispy hairs to give a really soft finish. Then we're going to do a little sculpting. So I'm using my Ofer Pro Sculpting Powder right here. Just a matte foundation with a gray undertone. And 
I'm gonna use my Pro Contour brush number 74. We're gonna go right into the contour and powder. And what we wanna do is contour. So you wanna make a hook, put it really close to your hairline and come down. Right when you get under that bump, that's what you wanna accentuate right there. So I'm gonna go high up by my ear, make a little dot, and then flick it right under that curvature of my cheekbone. I'm also gonna continue that contour around my forehead and temple and right under my jawbone. I'm gonna just wipe that brush off and take the same brush and go into that sculpting palette by Sephora and take the same color we put in our crease right on my cheek on top of our contour. And now it's time for the high guild. So what we're gonna do is put a cream base first down to put a cream base down first. Mm. I'm using NARS Hollywood Land Soft Focus Shadow Pencil. It is an eyeshadow pencil, but you can totally use it for this. So what I'm gonna do is gently fluff a little of this on, on the highest parts of my face, like right here. And we're gonna have it go around and just kind of blend it out with your finger before you add more. Just kind of press it into the skin so it just warms right in. You can always add more. And then once you have your desired amount, I'm gonna take the NARS eyeshadow duo and I'll, eyeshadow duo in Alhambra, looks like this, and I'm gonna take a Pro Precision blush brush by Sephora and kind of mix it in both of them, tap off the excess, and then fluff it right on top of that soft, soft focus shadow pencil we put on. Really lightly. So I'm gonna take a Makeup Forever lip liner in 1C, it's just a nude lip liner, and we're gonna line the outside of our lips. And I'm gonna take that Hollywood Land that we used for our high guild, and I'm gonna put it all over my lips. And then I'm gonna take Turkish Delight by NARS, and I'm gonna put it right over for a high gloss. All right, you guys, so that concludes our everyday gilded look. I hope you liked it. It's super fun, it's really feminine, and it's a great, easy way to wear a runway look without looking all crazy in public, <laughs> which I really enjoy, because I don't like looking crazy in public. I mean, I do, but I don't. If you really like it, please like and subscribe, and please let me know your comments. If you have any requests, of course, I am here at your back and call. Please let me know. And I do have a video coming up about Sephora Pro brushes. Wink, wink. All right, bye.